Fortnite, season nine. Back. <laughs> I hate doing intros. They're so like. I don't know. What, what, I can't think of the word for it. But they're like monotonous. I guess. They get boring to do over and over and over, saying the same thing over and over and over again. Anyway, I'm saying it right now. I did not win this game because. I got sniped in the back while I went to go loot somebody who I had sniped because I had no heals. I'm saying that now. So don't don't expect anything. But I did get kills this game. And it does have some things I'm gonna talk about this season, some things I'd like changed. Number one. This has nothing to do with the season. I should have went for first shot accuracy instead of just been more patient with it. Number one, I feel like since Max Match is still, you know, 3,000, maybe we could get 40% material gain, like Siphon had. Or when Siphon was there, if you played during that. Granted, it's not a huge deal, and I'm not really complaining about it. I'm not, I'm not the type of person to really complain. Uh, thanks, because really I wasn't a big fan of Siphon for duos and squads. Solos is okay. Duos and squads, it sucked. By the way, that combat shot, he shot did 20 damage. And this is after the update, after the camera made it better. That was like a 120. I remember that part. I'm going to mess with it just to see if it gets better. But right now, I'd still say the blue tack is the best shot in the game. And that is a 100% just because I stuck with the combat shot at the moment. And the attack shoddy from a blue tack max headshot is 158, I think, and a max from a gold combat shoddy is 137. Combat shoddy is hard to use close range because of how tight the spread is. For an attack shoddy, if I shoot around you, I'm pretty much going to hit you every time. Will be for a lot of damage? No. No, it won't. It's not a pump shoddy. But most time will be about, you know, 40. To 80. I think my average attack shot's around 70. So I can make it work. One big thing I do think is that the shotties need a buff. The heavy if the heavy shotties coming out, like I think it is, and other people think it is, then maybe you can leave these two shotties to the yard or maybe buff the combat shotty just because of how weak the shotgun is. I would say make this spread a little bit wider. Just a little bit, not too much. But make but leave it how it is, like fully ADS'd. Okay, when you ADS a combat shoddy, how it is fully ADS'd, leave that how it is, but when you're just walking around hit firing it, make it a little bit wider. Like more like the heavy shoddy. I just realize the replay system, because this is not live, is kind of laggy. I don't know why. And I don't think I can fix it, and it's not really showing my HUD. It sucks, and I don't know how to really do it. I know I can show gameplay HUD, but I don't think that shows you my weapons and stuff. I think it just shows you my map count in the minimap. Which, let's face it, not, not a huge deal. Right? Mining some brick. I like to divot for mats, or really the diners. You don't really have to go into the divot if you don't. Mostly because, you know, you'll have shields, you'll have little bit of materials and you'll have a decent floor loot this time I got really lucky I had a purple scar I had a you know blue tack which is the best shotgun in the game at the moment it could change after I or my opinion could change after I use the combat shot a little bit more how much debatable debatable I'm finding a lot of mats just because I want mats I don't want to be the guy to be cut out of nowhere with no mats it's happened to me before. It sucks. I fully admit that. I don't condone trying to build fight somebody at 3,000 mats or 300. Okay? I'm not saying you can't do it. Because I've done it. But it is definitely harder. Especially if they're a soccer skin. They do kill one. I'm pretty sure it's a soccer skin. When I get more towards salty. 
Anyway, I gotta get better at this replay thing so I can figure out how to shield my HUD. I don't, I'm not 100% sure if you can do that, like shove my weapons and stuff. I think my loadout right now is Scar, Tech, SMG, Redeploy. No. It's Heal Grenades. I think I have bandages. like the end of my mining though. Come on, it's a metal. Why? Not entirely sure, but so far it's boring as shit to talk to. We're about to get in some fights. I think two yeah two fights and then I ditched the third one just because I only had 125 HP. One thing I do like about this season it definitely better than the geysers is the I don't know what you want to call these things hover platforms You're probably gonna end up calling them hover pads but I like these things because they're good to rotate with and I like how good they are to rotate with you got higher than a launch pad most of the time Sorry for that guy. he got attacked hard I drink my mini no I didn't have bandage out of mini I remember this now Backed up, bank the mini. I do swap out SMGs for a second. Not yet. Quick 180 on the soccer skin. Now, if I would have threw my grenades a little bit more to the right, they would have sat on there a lot better. But unfortunately, Mr. Soccer Skin liked to run underneath me the entire damn time. He just fell because he didn't place a floor. Whenever you do a 90 or 180, place a floor underneath you just so, like, that can't happen. It won't kill you. It's an extra 10 mass. doesn't really slow you down all that much. There's the other footsteps. And I place a launch pad to try to get out of here. I do get out of here. I just fail at it. And I feel like shooting that out and risk getting shot, so I do run. A 50 cal. I hate this sniper. I wish it'd get vaulted so damn badly. <clears throat> if it would have been vaulted at the beginning of the season, I swear I would have been a little kid on Christmas because the heavy cal, not the heavy cal, the 50 cal sniper, the heavy sniper, and the drum gun are the most overpowered broken weapons in the game. I don't know about you, but I don't like getting body shotted from 200 meters to 157 and getting killed for it. I did nothing wrong. I'm just, you know, walking around. And I got sniped because some idiot got lucky off RNG. If it was a bolt headshot, I wouldn't mind it. Because, you know, the bolt takes a little bit of skill. Because it's only like a 100 damage body shot. Not 150. Like the heavy hit. Not a heavy cow, 50 cow. It's absurd. Now, I'd be fine if they also just nerfed it. You know, make the body shot 120. I feel like that'd be better than 150. And make it the way you can't really one shot every build. Maybe half built metal. I'd be fine with that. Full built metal's fine. Or half, or you can't shoot anything more than. No, 100 HP of which is, yeah, about starting off metal. I'd be, I'd be fine with that. I'd be fine with that. I just want to see if there's a med kit in here. I'm only at 125 HP right now. This guy was a literal bot. I don't know how he's surviving. I also can put a ramp there, which is ironic. Drums and laser him right there. That was a disaster for him. I never found all that many minis. It sucked. Now, I know when I'm at a health disadvantage, not to stay around Tilted Towers, just because it, it's tilted. And personally, I don't want to be in Tilted, like, ever. I don't particularly like landing here. I'll land here in duos if I have a decent partner. 
rest of the time. I can do okay. Squads, I, I do not like landing tilted, period. The guy landed there. I'm like, man, I just had to go snipe him. He, he, he took that thing. It's too late. Too late. Not take fall damage here. Lucky. This guy, I, I feel so bad for. Only thing he has is a silenced SMG. But he's boxing up and healing. I figured he'd be, he'd have a fight in him. He didn't even go to replace the wall. When I got it, there's the corner, there's the tag. He starts emoting. I feel so bad for that guy. I don't know how he was planning to win or do whatever he was doing. But rip him. Another thing, if you can. Get good at uh, game awareness, like knowing where the campfires are. I'm still at 125 HP here. And I know in Shifty, there is two, I think, campfire spawns. One right there and one on the other side. And I mine brick first, just because I'm using mostly wood, and brick's stronger than wood. And I think I get sniped from Tilted. There's a low key ego challenge. ego challenge. Now, I pull out my build here and try to build around it, but unfortunately the campfires are off-center, so I can't really build a good box around there without wasting a lot of mats. So right now, I'm just running around a campfire, hoping I don't get sniped. If I would've got a 50 pot out there, it would've been clutch as shit. Much ammo as I can get. Wood pallets. If you ever see wood pallets, always mine them. Good amount of wood. Now, if you're at max wood, you, you don't have to mine them. That, that you don't have to do. Want some metal for the late game. Same reason why I wanted to break. That was laggy. What the hell? Not really laggy. More like glitchy right there. Now, I knew there would be shrooms spawning around here. That's really what I was looking for. And I wanted to break. I'm at 150 right in, 150. Now I'm at 160, 165. Need a little bit more HP. Fuck who's up. I saw a mushroom back there. I don't even know if mushrooms can spawn back there, TBH. Anyway, here comes in the, the 50 cal. Or soon. I hate the 50 cal. Like, oh my gosh, I want it vaulted. There's a reason why I didn't go for those mushrooms, just because there's more back here. I know Storm's about to push, but I needed the HP. At least I thought I did. Now, I don't know if it's going to show it or not in the replay system, but I, I end up with a 7 kill elimination game, which is not bad in solos. And I do relatively well. I'll show some things I want to talk about, like the tack drum gun. The drum gun's absurd. The tack shoddy is a solid shotgun. There is nothing wrong with it. Other than the fact the pump is in the game, it'd be booty cheeks. I did not notice him here. I heard him shoot, so I thought he was shooting at me. I was like blind to the back. He's kind of bright. I suck with the 50 cal though. Like, I, I want to know how that shot missed. Granted, I do kill him. I kill both these people, but not with the 50 cal. Missed the shot. It was close though. Reload it as I move in. Got the scar for a mid range shot. He starts using the bow. Boots up. I do build a little bit of ramps just to make them think I was going to push towards him. Then every so often I turn around and I place more walls to block off any bow shots to zone him out because the edge of zone's right here. And he was not in zone. As you can see, there's a headshot for 70. Now he's building towards me. Let me drum gun him. Didn't even really have to build fight him, just because I knew he was weak. He took storm damage, he took 70 damage from me. That I remember anyway. He may have took more. And then the tax shoddy can clean him up relatively well, as long as you have decent aim. That's all you really need it for. 
Oh, this shot was nice. Hit him right in the back of the ankle. I shot in my back. It sucks. Just where I lost all my heels. Do you think how long that shot was on the guy I just killed? That's 204 meters. Nice shot. Second longest night. My first longest is 230. But anyway, a body shot should not be able to kill you from that far. Unless you're absurdly weak, it shouldn't be able to. It's annoying to get tonight, especially by the 50 cal. I'll be the first one to admit it. And the guy who I sniped is the guy whose loot I go for. And I go for this build just to see if there's a 50 pot or something. If I would have got a 50 pot, I wouldn't have went for that guy's loot. 50 pot, bandages, minis, anything, I would not have went for that guy's loot. Just to play safer. That gets sniped from like 130 meters after a grenade lands right next to me. I oh, know it wasn't the same player. I knew the grenade launcher wouldn't have killed me, so I just have to get right forward. He was looking at somebody over there, so I'm like, this could be bad. Could be bad. I think I got sniped by the same player he's looking at. The whole time, I'm like, don't notice me, don't notice me, don't notice me, don't notice me. I need his heals. I don't even know what he has. There's the grenade launcher, and there's the sniper. Could have turned around and built behind me, I guess. Let's move back. Anyway, not really a whole lot. I really see I could have done there. I mean, I could have, like not gone for his loot and stayed at like, 145 HP until storm moved, storm moved in and got a lucky kill. But anyway, the season feels okay. The spray meta's a little annoying, but it'll be fine. It'll go away in time, I'm sure. Epic will change it. And I hope the heavy shotgun comes back soon. So we have a hard-hitting shoddy again. Anyway, peace.